Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the Castle Cabin. The Castle Cabin is the crown jewel of the work that Sarah and I have done together. It wasn't just us that did it, though, so I'd like to thank everyone, friends, and family that helped us along the way. Let's get inside. It's actually three cabins, all designed to look the same, but different sizes, like nesting dolls. Here's the smallest one right here at 121 square feet. And you can see that's the hallway to the biggest cabin. That's the hallway to the smallest cabin. The walls are all tongue and groove, secondhand cedar, kind of like the scraps or the throwaways from a sawmill in Idaho. This is one of our favorite plants, this philodendron and that one. Sarah's obsessed with plants, so you're going to see a lot of them. Now let's walk through the hallway into the medium-sized cabin. And first look up, 23 feet. And here's the downstairs bathroom. Sarah and I had some late nights doing all of this tile work together. Great memories, some of my best of the house. There's the custom cabinetry, there's the back deck. You can actually access the kitchen from the back and I'll show you that later. But let's head over here and go over to the laundry room, which is actually a cute, cozy little laundry room. We got the cat stuff in there. I'd actually live in there. It's, it's a nice little room, to be honest. Anyway, uh, you check it out. You got the kitty door right here for Dexter the cat. And we're going to head upstairs, up the ladder, into the loft. This is actually one of my very favorite parts of the house because it's so quiet and peaceful up here. And it feels like you're actually in the ceiling. The roof system, the collar tie system, was designed by my dad. It was a pain in the butt, but look at that beauty. It was totally worth it. There's this really cool railing that we put together, leaving the moss on the saplings. Over in the windows, we got stained glass by my mom. It's beauty. Now we're going to head back down out of the loft. We're going to go down the ladder, but please do not walk down ladders like this. Always back down ladders. I'm doing it for the video, but it's not very smart. So anyway, here we go. Go back through the little hallway into the living room and go into the hallway that leads us into the kitchen. There's a little custom cabinet and bookshelf we made. And now we're in the largest cabin. This one is 15 feet by 15 feet inside. There's the back deck again. We've got this cool vintage stove and that farmhouse sink and this bowling alley that we actually salvaged for the countertops. Love all of the stainless steel and how it accents with the wood. Here's some more of that bowling alley. There's the starting line right there. We also made this custom backsplash out of cold rolled steel. And as you continue on, a little TV in the kitchen, always wanted that. We're gonna start heading upstairs into the bedroom. And notice we got more saplings and salvaged wood for the railing. This cabin is 32 feet tall in height at this point. And there's that ceiling again, that collar tie system. There's the bathroom and the crow's nest above it. Those dressers are where we keep our essential clothes and that headboard we made to match the diamond cabin. Into the master bathroom, there's another cabinet, custom vanity with a Douglas fir slab and all of this tire work also by me and Sarah. That's pretty much it for the inside, but I wanna take you downstairs to the back deck. All of these stair treads are made from Windfall Douglas fir, and along with plants, Sarah's also obsessed with rugs. Here's a handmade one from Iran. It took us about two years to make this place, and I don't know if I'll ever want to do another project this big again. We're going to end the tour on the back deck, surrounded by sun and plants. And I just want to say thank you to everyone for taking this tour. Thank you to everyone who helped us along the way. Thank you to Bix Hamby, Ethan Hamby, Kathy and Stan Hitt, David Underwood, Raymond Dickinson, Scott Pearson, Nathan the Plumber, everyone. Thank you.